Good morning, KB. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Do you know it's circle time? Circle time, circle time. Do you know it's circle time in KB? Do you know it's circle time? Circle time, circle time. Do you know it's circle time in KB? Do you know it's circle time, circle time, circle time? Do you know it's circle time in KB? Good morning, everybody. I hope you are awake. I hope that song helped to get you ready to focus, get your brain ready to work. I have our morning message for you right here. Try to read it with me. Dear boys and girls, good morning. Today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. We have Spanish class today. Love, Mrs. Fahey. And we do have Spanish class today, boys and girls. We have a pretty busy day for a Monday. We remember that in school, Mondays were always our busy, busy day because we really only had that one break for Spanish. So we are going to hit the ground running this morning, boys and girls. You are going to do your journal entry and your calendar. Make sure you include the numbers 18, 19, and 20 in your calendar paying very close attention to putting making sure the two is formed correctly and not backwards we were working on that so so much okay and then we have a new story that goes along with our reading packet this week the story is called on the move and boys and girls this story is going to talk to us about all the different ways that we can travel around the country so on the move definitely check out that story that i'm going to leave a link to okay and then we're just going to start our reading packet and then we have two letters of the week today our letters of the week are v let's make that sound v v v and z z z z v and z are our letters this week so you are going to start in your phonics book today with just the letter V. And you can even make the letter V with your fingers. Two slanted lines for the letter V. Go ahead and make that. Excellent. So in our phonics um, purple book today, we're going to work with the letter V. In our handwriting book, we're going to work with the letter V as well. Lots of practice with that letter. And then in math today, we're going to start chapter nine. So we're starting chapter nine today. If you have a number cube or a dice, maybe from a board game, that would be very, very helpful to have in math today for a math game. If you don't have a dice or a number cube, you can use flashcards, just number flashcards. That would be very helpful so that you can play that math game with somebody in your house and you'll see what I'm talking about when we get to that video, okay? So boys and girls, um, I hope you had a good weekend. Tell me about your weekend in the comments. Did you do anything fun? Did anything silly happen at home? Maybe with a brother or sister or mom or dad? Did you get to talk to anybody over the phone? Did you get to Zoom with any family members? or see anybody through the phone or the computer. I had a really special weekend. Uh, my sister's birthday is coming up um, actually on this Wednesday. So I decided to surprise her since I can't see her and spend her birthday with her. I decided to surprise her and make her favorite cupcakes, vanilla cupcakes with strawberry and pineapple icing. I decided to make her favorite cupcakes and deliver them to her house. So I drove to her house, I got out of my car with the cupcakes and I had a little present for her. I got her some puzzles that she likes to do because she's stuck at home and some t-shirts that I got her. And I got out of the car and I stood in her driveway and I sang happy birthday to her 
while she was in her house. So she was at the window, I was at the driveway, I looked really, really silly with cupcakes and presents on my arms, and I sang my heart out, I sang happy birthday to her, and I blew her kisses through the window, and then I left her presents and her cupcakes on her front porch for her to go get. So I'm sad that I can't see my sister for her birthday, just like I'm sad I can't see all of my friends with their April birthdays. I can't be with you in person, but there's still ways that we can go and make that special, right? We heard last week that Molly had a drive-by for her birthday and that made her feel really special. So there's always a way to make somebody feel special on their birthday and on the regular days. And that was really fun for me to get to do. And I hope she liked the cupcakes. She ate them all, but we'll see. I hope she liked them. So that was my weekend. Tell me about your weekend in the comments, boys and girls. I want to know about your silly stories and your adventures. I miss you guys so much. I could scream it from the rooftops and it wouldn't be loud enough. I miss you guys so much seeing all your munchkin faces. But you guys have been working really hard. I am so, 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 so proud of you. Keep up the hard work and let's get to it. Another week. All right. I love you, Munchkin. See you really soon. Bye-bye.